Welcome to our channel. In this video, I am talking about how to manage cholesterol levels naturally with foods. So, watch till the end this video. Cholesterol is a waxy substance, which is an essential constituent of body. It is responsible for multiple functions of body. When, like other constituents, cholesterol is out of state of required balance, it creates multiple problems. It is of two types, good cholesterol, HDL, high density lipoprotein, and bad cholesterol, LDL, low density lipoprotein. There are normal levels of HDL, LDL, and total cholesterol. Good cholesterol is not bad for our body, rather, it is beneficial for our body. Bad cholesterol must be in normal limits, otherwise, it could lead to sudden heart attack and stroke. There are two pathways by which cholesterol enters our body one. Dietary cholesterol, some foods have cholesterol. For example, an egg has 300 milligrams of cholesterol and similarly 100 grams of chicken has 88 milligrams, pork has 81 milligrams, fish has 61 milligrams and cheese has cheddar cheese has 105 milligrams. It is recommended daily consumption of cholesterol should not be more than 300 milligrams. However, various studies show dietary cholesterol does not raise cholesterol levels. Rather, it is saturated fats present in animal products. Secondly, our liver also produces cholesterol. Those people who take more saturated fats produce more cholesterol. Similarly, is the case with trans fats and hydrogenated oils. So, we need to consume saturated less and avoid trans fats. Let us talk about fats. Fats can be classified as saturated and unsaturate. Unsaturated fats can be classified further into two categories monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated can be further classified and prominently omega-3 and omega-6 fats. Saturated fats those who studied chemistry can explain saturated fats as fats who have NO double bonds between carbon atoms in structural formula of their molecule. Clarified butter has 65% of saturated fats. Similarly, other dairy and meat products have also saturated fats. So, we need to limit products that have saturated products. In common man's language, those oils who are in solid state at room temperature have more saturated fats. Examples include butter, coconut oil and palm oil. As we know excess of everything is bad, so we need to limit butter consumption, but it should not be removed completely because there are some health benefits of butter. Additionally, it has been researched that virgin coconut oil is not dangerous to consume because of lauric acid present in it to medium chain fatty acid. Rather, refined coconut oil should be avoided Palm oil increases LDL same as animal fat, but it also increases HDL, so its consumption be restricted as compared to other vegetable oils. Monosaturated fats. Monounsaturated fats are fatty acids with one double bond between their carbon atoms, C equals C. Mono means single, that is why it is known as mono. These fats are very heart healthy because they reduce bad cholesterol levels and increase the good cholesterol. Almonds oil have 70% of monounsaturated fats. Olive oil has 73% of monounsaturated fats, but choose the extra virgin olive oil or virgin olive oil. Apart from this, olive oil have vitamin E, polyphenols and antioxidants. Also, use regularly avocados as these are source of monounsaturated fats acid. And, a leek variety of sunflower oil has 85% monounsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fats omega-6. Poly means many. As name indicates polyunsaturated fats have many double bonds. There are in oils such as corn, soybean, safflower and linoleic variety of sunflower. These fats lower both LDL, bad cholesterol, and HDL, good cholesterol. These should be consumed in very low quantity because these also lower HDL levels. Polyunsaturated fats omega-3. Omega-3 fats lower LDL, 
total cholesterol, and triglycerides levels in body. Omega-3 fats should be consumed in the 1 colon 4 to omega-6 fats. Food sources of omega-3 are flaxseed, chia seeds, walnuts, fatty fish, canola oil and mustard oil. Mustard oil should not be in much quantity because of erucic acid which may be harmful. Omega-3 fatty acids have other so many health benefits. Have one spoon of flaxseed chia seeds powder or non-fried fish twice a week one or two walnuts a day, or canola or mustard oil for cooking. Trans fats. These are a common ingredient in deep fried snacks, fast foods, cakes, pastries, donuts, cookies, biscuits, potato chips and salad dressings. They raise both LDL and total cholesterol. Foods that contain trans fats must be eliminated from diet. These are manufactured commercially by method of hydrogenation in which hydrogen atoms are added to natural oils, that is why they are solid in room temperature. These are very dangerous to health. Consumption of these oils may lead to breast cancer, colon cancer, heart diseases, atherosclerosis, diabetes and degenerative conditions. What oils should be used? No oil is perfect. So, we need to use a combination of oils. Firstly, one should limit the consumption of products that have saturated fats such as butter oil, clarified oil, coconut oil, palm oil, fat in cheese and cream, meat and meat products. Secondly, oils that have omega-6 fats such as corn oil, soybean, safflower oil and linoleic variety of sunflower oil should be avoided as these lower both LDL and HDL cholesterol levels a good cholesterol. Additionally, foods that have omega-3 fats used in used on regular basis because these lower both LDL, total cholesterol and triglycerides. Finally, foods that have trans fats mentioned above must be eliminated from your diet. Always use cold pressed oils because these have sterols which may further lower cholesterol levels. One more oil, rice bran oil is sold as a superfood because of a special nutraceutical known as orizinol, which is heart healthy. So, use a variety of oils as per above information, so that our liver cannot produce much cholesterol. Foods that contain dietary fibers. There are some foods which have fibers that helps to lower cholesterol levels in body. Let us discuss them. Oats. Oats have emerged as the number one food as the cholesterol lowering food. The reason for this is presence of beta-glucan, a soluble fiber in oats. This soluble fiber binds with bile salts and removes from the body. Our liver uses cholesterol to make bile salts. When bile salts are removed from the body, liver uses more cholesterol to make more bile salts. In this way, oats lower cholesterol levels in body. Daily consumption of 70 gram of oats, 3 gram of beta-glucan, is sufficient for considerable results. Barley. Although oats have number one position to lower cholesterol levels, barley is equally important because it also has beta-glucan. In some parts of word, oats are not easily available and are costly for common man. So, it is advised to use barley to lower cholesterol levels. Psyllium husk. Some supplements are available for soluble fiber. And, these supplements contain seed husks of psyllium. It is better to take one spoon of psyllium husk daily. It is also a laxative, so it is good for constipation and bowel movement. It is recommended to take it with other statin drugs and other fibers, such as beta-glucan, oats and barley. Fruits pectin. Some fruits and vegetables such as apples, pears, citrus fruits, bananas, prunes, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, apricots, carrots, bottle good, okra, sweet potatoes, green beans, tomatoes, broccoli and yams. Pectin fiber not only lowers cholesterol level, but also has other health promoting properties. Other foods that help manage cholesterol. 1. Probiotics. Have 200 milliliters low fat yogurt, fermented milk, daily. Lactobacillus bacteria in yogurt lowers LDL and total cholesterol and increases HDL. 2. 
jaggery, evaporated juice, and sugarcane juice. Policosanols in sugarcane juice and jaggery, sugarcane concentrated juice lowers LDL, total cholesterol, and triglycerides levels in body. The level of HDL remains unchanged. So, it is advised to use sugarcane juice regularly. Sometimes, it is difficult to obtain juice, then jaggery, concentrated sugarcane juice, should be used in lieu of refined white sugar.